Let's take a look at our second new favorite feature in the latest release of Adobe Muse, and that's the ability to output retina-optimized websites. So if you have a retina display, such as a MacBook Pro, you'll notice that standard websites don't look very good. The graphics aren't very crisp, and anything that isn't real text or you know crisp line art it just looks kind of fuzzy. And that's because graphics on the web are typically output at a low resolution, and these high-res displays need a much higher resolution graphic. So within the new version of Muse, we can actually turn on Retina Display Support. And there's some little things about it that we need to pay attention to when we're building our site. So let's go ahead and turn on High DPI Support. We need to go File and Site Properties. Within the Site Properties menu, on the bottom right side, we have Images. And right now it says Resolution Standard. So if we click that drop down and go to High DPI, which says two times, we get this warning that says two times images will significantly increase page loading time. That's okay. We know that's a risk uh, in using high DPI support. So let's just click use high DPI and click OK. So now if we look in our assets panel for an existing site, you'll see that some of these graphics have two times next to them. And what that means is these graphics are going to output at retina quality. If we sort by that, then you can easily see which graphics are not going to output at retina quality. And that's basically any of the ones that do not have that two times beside it. Let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and place an image into my site. So I'll just pick, for example, this image of a phone. And if I click and drag and drop the image, you can see that little percentage gauge beside it. And right now I'm sitting at about 33%. So if I look in the Assets panel here, you'll see that my icon's there and it says two times. But if I was to drag this up much, much bigger, and let's just drag it up to say 55%, you'll notice that now in the Assets panel, that two times indicator is gone. So the key thing to remember here is 50% or under is going to be the size you need to place your graphics in at to have them output for op retina optimization. So if I bring it back to 50 and I drop it there, we should get a two times indicator. And let me go a little bit lower to see. There, so it's turned back on. So just remember this, this took a little while for me to get my head around when I was building my first retina site in this new version, but uh, you just need to remember to output your graphics at basically double the size. And when you drop them in Muse, if you want that graphic to output at retina quality, make sure that it's scaled to 50% or under, and that you're seeing that two times indicator in your assets panel. So that's it, and when you output your site using Retina and it's all built in Retina, you'll be blown away at how beautiful it looks, especially on the high quality Mac screens. Check out our next video, which is going to be on the 100% width slideshows feature in this new version. Thanks again.